M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So if you've got one of these lying around, you can actually turn it into a hotspot. You're gonna need one of these CP2102 serial to USB, okay? CP2102. They're about, they're not expensive. They're about, I don't know, five pound, let's say, in the UK. There's your MMDVM hat, standard hat. We're only going to use the block on the left side here, and it's the side where the antenna is. We're not going to use this. And we're going to turn this into a working hotspot. We do need these pins, and I'll put a link in. They're GPIO pins, connectors, but you need one end to have the pointed, you know, the pointed bit. And you need one end to, to be like that, okay? And you buy these in packs, they're about three, four pound to buy in a pack. So let's take off the colours that we want to use. So the colours we like to use are green, yellow, red and black. So we'll go green, uh, yellow. You don't have to use these colours of course, but it just means it's clearer to you, you know, what, what's doing what. So red and black is your positive and negative, your positive and ground. And then the green and yellow is your TXRX. Now, if you look carefully on your adapter, you will see that it says, I'm trying to keep this focused, at the top, three volt, which is what we're gonna use. We're not gonna use the five volt, which is the bottom. Then it says TXRX ground. So what we're gonna do is start off with our live, going on to the three volt. You do have to wiggle these when they're new. These are brand new. Then the next one says TX, so we're gonna put the yellow as a TX. TX is the information, the digital information that's coming from your MMDV, coming and going back to your MMDVM hat. Then ground, that's an obvious one. So it's black, like an earth for your electric sort of, uh, circuit, let's say. And then lastly, we want the RX. Now, when the RX connects to the MMDVM hat, it, go, it goes to the TX. That's the, the basics of it. Okay, you got your pins on there now. Like so. The next thing is the actual MMDVM hat. Now, don't be worried about this. It's very simple. So we'll put the block there and we'll just put them in to where they belong. So your three volt live goes there. And not, I wouldn't say they're the tightest fit. You know, technically, really, you should solder them in. So TX and your ground is the third one in, but nearest to you. That's just, even now, if you plug the the adapter, sort of the, the serial, this, into a live USB 5 volt from your PC, it will... Now, if you're going to be using your PC, then you do have to plug it into your PC and we're using Blue DV software to do all the work regarding MMDVM. You can inter inter interface this with a HC05 Bluetooth adapter, which is again, a, I'll do a separate video on that and it will do the same job. But you, what it is, you because you, you're sending the RXTX information simultaneously to the BT Bluetooth device, you have to splice the wires. You can use joiners, I suppose, but you need to splice the wires and the ones you would splice uh, are the RX, TX and the ground. And also you would have to, from this device here, the bottom one is five volts, the one that's showing. That would power your Bluetooth device, not the three volts. So anyway, so back to what we were doing. So we've got the, on the corner here, where I'm just touching the, the yellow, that is actually TX. That's a TX, okay? So we know that on the, the on the USB dongle, we put TX as yellow. Um, so let's just double check. So TX is yellow. So we don't want TX to TX. We want TX to RX. So we're going to put that in the in that one there, so you can see that clearly. And then RX to RX. And these only go one way. So if, if I've got it wrong, I would have to swap the RX TX. It's going to come on whatever. So this is what you end up with. And believe it or not, this is going to become 
a hot spot. So we're now going to get our radio in place, get our radio, get some power here, and then we're going to show you it working. You're going to need the Blue DV app, so go to Blue DV, I'll put the link in the description, and then go to select the, win I'm using Windows, but it works on other items, but Windows I know it works on, and on your um, Android phone with the, with the Bluetooth adapter it, it works. So we'll click on Windows, Blue DV, and scroll down, and click here, Software, and then when, you, when you've downloaded that, I would go to the second one down, Blue DV, and then I'm pretty sure I chose the beta version, and then you want Windows here. And then blue DV zip. Okay. I've already got it on the computer. Let's see if it will run. If you run it, double click. Yeah, look, it's already got it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel that installation and then show you it, show you the settings. But the settings are pretty simple. So I've right clicked the program and I put it as, as a task, put it on the taskbar. So click that, it's going to open. Now we're not connected at the moment, so we'll leave that turned off. When you go to menu setup, all you need to do is select the correct port. Now right click device manager. I will plug it in just so you know what that looks like. So back to right click device manager. And you're going to see in here, it's plugged into the PC now. Silicon Labs, there it is there, COM13. So if we go back to settings, setup, COM13 at the top here selected. Call sign, frequency on the radio you're going to use. And it doesn't have to be DMR, it could be D-Star Fusion, but it only you can only put one frequency in. And then you select which mode. So at the moment, DMR number here. DMR master, Brandmeister password. D you can select D star here if you want to use it or fusion. And then you can use the sliders or you can do this thing where you tick the box and you enable it start and it will just slide them on for you. Okay, that's done. We go save and at the moment it's configured to slide on automatically. As soon as I select serial here, it slides on and it will link into DMR. I'll, do, I'll show you a little demonstration of it working. Um, just whilst you're looking at the screen now, if I TX M0 FXB audio check, you'll see that ah, someone's, it goes red when you TX. You can hear it working there. All the information comes through. You can update your host. I'll, so, I'll show you how to do that. And RX is green and that you can change that in settings. Let me just turn that off and to update everything, you just click update here. You've got DSTAR call database, which is probably the most important one for DMR. And it just does it for you. DMR master, yes. See the way it does it all? Like so, clicking OK. Yes. So remember, the parts for this are about £30. Are you... If you've got them lying around, well, give it a go anyway, because a lot of us have got these adapters and hats that we haven't got, that we don't really use. So, all right, I'll just show you the last bit of it work in action with the radio, and then uh, we'll call it a day. So there we are, all connected as in, as before. So you've got red, black, yellow, green. There's the USB. Just waiting for some traffic. You can see it. RXing and TXing on here when it's working and it just works and it's fun and it, very portable unit It's quite a small unit look. It's very portable. You can plug it into any sort of laptop PC but Like I said, it's a different setup for if you're using Via Android because then you've got to add in the I'll show you what the The Bluetooth looks like it's a, it's a HC05, but it's very simple you, you sort of connect it in between really in between this with a separate 5 volt feed that you've already got coming from the adapter and then you can use it with your Android phone but I prefer it this way it's much more portable you can see it kick in there where people are keying up the microphone I'll show you what blue DV looks like when it's running so you get green for receive and red when I TX great I'm listening 
Just had someone call me there. So, oh, someone did call. Someone there. M0, M0 FXB, M0 FXB, returning. Let's see if we get that back. A few people, because 91, it's so busy. So this is the HC05, again, only about five pound. It's a Bluetooth, and you can actually program it with your PC. It's, you know, for tinkering, it's great fun. Let's go again. M0 FXB, M0 FXB, calling. I'm a bit quite far away from the radio, so I'm not sure if I'm being heard. Yeah, Mike Zero, uh, MSB, I think it's Mike Zero, MSB, this is Victor Kilowatt 3, United Tango. How MSB. clear that audio is. Right, bye for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like, 73.